What's up, Heard? Yesterday, I put together a video with my three Solen strategies regarding the trunk to USDC pool. And today, I'm getting into my personal account, doing some transactions, and I wanted to record the process as I go through each strategy. And I'm actually gonna work on two different strategies in of the three. I've been using strategy one, where I just hold USDC in the pool, but I believe that the APR is in a good spot right now that I wanna get into the other two strategies. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. I'm gonna walk you through each step of the process. So grab a beverage, buckle in, and let's get on into it. So I'm really liking the price right now. I've gotten a lot of appreciation on my trunk. I got most of my trunk down here around 18 to 20 cents, guys. And I've been uh, DCAing throughout the process. My last DCA was actually at this little wick down. Uh, just a couple of days ago, I bought another couple thousand dollars worth of trunk. And today, I believe we're about to break out of these local highs and head towards the dollar very, very shortly. In fact, we just may have broken out recently. So I wanna get into this action, but I wanna do it in two different ways. Yesterday, I made this video and showed you exactly how to take advantage of these strategies using $1,000 as the baseline. But these are actual real numbers, guys. I've got um, about $29,000 worth of trunk. I'll, I'll update these numbers before I get started. And I'm going to walk through each part of this process as if I was uh, setting this up. In fact, I am setting this up for my personal accounts. The current APY on Solend is uh, is 44% for lending and 74% for borrowing, which is relatively low in comparison to where we've been. So I'm going to move this $5,200 out of the USDC supply and go into the Solend futures uh, strategy. Now the Solend strategy is a little bit longer term. I think this is going to play out over uh, a, a significant amount of time for me, but the trunk loop strategy, which I've already got $29,000 worth of trunk in this. I'm going to use it to borrow some trunk and this is going to be a relatively short-term strategy, especially as, as long as the APYs and APRs are low on this strategy. What I'll likely do is pay down this loan from other gains within the crypto space, but if I need to, I can sell some of the trunk at higher prices and, and still have a larger bag of trunk long-term. So let's get into Solend right now. Now we need to separate this out into two different accounts and the accounts are right here. You can actually create a new account right here. So I'm going to uh, leave my trunk in here for my initial account, but I'm going to uh, withdraw my USDC as uh, I'm going to put this into the separate account to create the other strategy. So I'm going to hit withdraw here. This transaction reverted during simulation, funds may be lost. So this is one thing that I've seen with uh, Solana lately is we've got some a lot of usage right now. And so do be patient with Solana guys. Uh, there's been a lot of, just, just a lot of activity. And so if you get these errors, it's occasional and you just kind of have to retry some things in order to start, um, in order to get it to process for you. So as you can see that $5,200 is no longer in this account. So I'm gonna start another account here. I'm using account two, I'm going to uh, go back into the USDC and I'm going to supply it. Supply the max and confirm. Awesome, so I've confirmed that and I've now supplied that $5,200 back into a USDC pool on a separate account here. So I've got the USDC in this uh, account two and the trunk in account one. Now you can play with the numbers here. I had originally set it for 42% and I do think I might keep it at that because I am super bullish on trunk guys. My trunk projected is $3 and that's really the minimum I think we'll see before the end of the year. Um, but I'm going to keep it there and going to look at a couple different uh, ratios. So 42 uh, let's look at 25 as a, as a similar ratio. This is what um, Crypto Zoa, if you didn't see his Medium article, tried this at 25%. And that does look pretty healthy here, guys. But I think 30% looks like a nice medium ground here. So I'm going to borrow about $1,565 in order to buy about uh, $1,300 trunk. And over the course of the year, guys, this trunk will eventually be paid for by the accumulation of the APY in this uh, the top end of the strategy where I'm um, lending more than I'm borrowing here. Now, as far as the trunk 
loop strategy goes, let me update this number because I do believe I have a little bit more now. So yeah, it's up to uh, 30,583. So 30,583. Now, if I wanted to, I could go a little bit more conservative, but I'm going to go ahead and do all of 30% on this, guys, and I'm going to borrow $9,175 against my trunk that should purchase about uh, 7,615 more trunk for myself. And if projections go to plan, guys, that will give me a profit of $6,800 by the end of the year, even with the repaid loan here. Now that means if the APYs stay relatively low guys for the rest of the year and the price of trunk goes to $3, I'll have essentially a uh, 4X on my total account value with only a 3X in the price of trunk. So that's pretty impressive. Now this is certainly DGEN guys, do your own research on this, but this is something I'm comfortable with as I've made quite a bit already in my trunk and I'm looking for some significant gains over the course of this bull run. Now I'm gonna borrow these separately from Solen and the different accounts, but I'm gonna bridge them all together over on uh, Dbridge to the BNB chain and buy over there because the price is actually a bit lower and we're trying to drain that LP over there on the BNB chain. So I'll go and do that over there, but let's first start by borrowing. So again, I'm gonna borrow $9,175 against my $30,583, that's 30%. That's a pretty significant value, guys, but I'm feeling pretty good about my trunk projection, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. So $9,175, so let's go into the USDC side, make sure we're on the correct account here. That's gonna raise utilization a little bit and actually help out some of the other plays that are going on here. All right, so we've borrowed 9175 in USDC on this account against my trunk here, and then I'm gonna go over to account two, and I'm going to borrow 1565, that's based on a 30% as well on that play. So 1565 should get me about 1299 trunk. So I'm gonna go back into USDC on this other account and borrow 1565. Now both of these are going to the same account on Solana guys. So I'm actually gonna see a quite large number of USDC in my Phantom wallet. But now I'm gonna to go to Dbridge and I'm gonna bridge this over to the BNB chain. So I'm gonna go from Solana, using my, all of that USDC guys. I'm gonna hit max. And then I'm gonna to go to the BNB chain and I want this to show up as a BUSD so that I can use the LP over there. Now it's asking me for my EVM address so I'm gonna uh, grab that from my Rabi wallet. and paste that in. I've already got some BNB on the BNB chain. In fact, I should probably check the conversion rate here to see if I can get a better deal. Nope, the deal is certainly better on BUSD, so I'm gonna keep it with BUSD. Yeah, about $37 I'm going to lose in this transaction, but that's actually pretty good going across chain, and I'll spend a little bit of BNB uh, rather, um, I'm going to spend a little bit of Solana on the Solana side just for gas for this transaction. But let's confirm this trade. Sending uh, $10,739 of USDC to BNB or BUSD on the BNB chain. Transaction broadcasted. and order created. D-bridges are recommended bridge, especially between Solana and the BNB chain guys. EVM to Solana is actually really quite fast. In fact, it just got an order notification that says it's fulfilled. So if I go to my, <clears throat> my uh, Rabi wallet here and go to my assets, Yes, I have 10,701 uh, BUSD on the BNB chain. So I'm gonna go to PancakeSwap now. 
Now I could just run this as a swap, but what I actually wanna do is DCA into this over the next couple of hours. So I'm gonna to go to this twap feature. I'm going to set up BUSD here. I'm gonna do the max. I'm going to go into uh, this other option and hit trunk. I want this to go in fairly quickly as I expect the trunk price to continue upwards, but I wanna set up a nice buy wall here. So this defaults to 105 trades if I do this every 30 minutes, and I'm gonna change it to 20 trades over the next 20 hours. So every 30 minutes, this is going to buy $535 worth of trunk, and this total order should be filled over the next 20 hours. All right, let's look this over real quick just to make sure everything is good here. But from what I see, I'm pretty happy with this. Trade size of 535 BUSD. Uh, that should result in 604 trunk per trade at minimum. And so I'm gonna confirm this order here. So now it's showing that I have an open order of 10,701 BUSD going to be swapping into trunk over the next 20 hours. And then when that's done, I'll be transitioning this trunk back to the Solana chain in order to buffer my positions on Solent to make sure there's no chance of liquidation there. I'll be putting that trunk back into the supply side on both strategies. That'll do two things, guys. That will buffer the liquidation threshold for both of these accounts, but that will also increase the TVL of the Solent pool, guys, and that will bring more eyes to our pool. Now I'll leave a link in the description below to a video where I did bridge some trunk from the BNB chain to Solend using Portal Bridge. Now if you're already in trunk on the BNB side and wanna get into the Solana side guys, I'll be coming out with a couple more videos regarding that as well. How to set up a Phantom Wallet, how to fund it with a little bit of Solana, and how to bridge assets from BNB to the Solana chain. With that, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more content just like this. Have a great day and God bless.